Hi, everybody. It's June 24, 2021. I'm sorry to uh, tell you, if you don't know, that Nancy Morgan Hart has died. Headlines with a voice. A few weeks ago, a subscriber left a comment that she had cancer. I don't know how she died. There is a video here with this woman, the Lockhart Perspective, and she has Roy Potter on, and they are talking about Nancy Morgan Hart. They don't mention how she died. Roy says uh, enough to, well, was she taken out? He talks of how Nancy Morgan Hart was worried for herself or her family because of her posting, what she was posting. Um, that's true for all of us. But I, I don't know. You know, I, I didn't, uh, I, I have seen a few of her videos, but I was not a regular, you know, subscriber of hers. So I'm sorry if this is news to some of you and you were a subscriber and a lot is happening a whole lot just in the past year a whole lot who were speaking the truth are gone now and a whole lot are going to be gone soon enough that's just life especially when life is being controlled by very evil people. So another one is gone. Okay, I will link below to this video and you can listen to this, uh, to the Lockhart perspective and Roy talking about Nancy Morgan Hart. Yes, rest in peace. I know, and I'm referring to comments that I get. Yes, John McAvee. Okay, he was extra. It, the court ruled in Barcelona that he can be extra, extra extradited to the U.S. He was facing federal charges, and apparently, he hung himself in jail. We can speculate all night long about what is taking place. I don't go there, um, but the story is John McAfee has hung himself. Hell, if I was in a jail in another country and I was extradited to the United States, I might do the same thing, but uh, preliminary investigation determined there were just no signs of foul play, of course. He's 75 years old. I didn't realize that he was that old. He sure did have, he sure did have uh, a lot of energy. Okay, back to the Florida condo collapse. The comments, uh, 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 there are so many, and I've received them for years, where people just say fake news, fake news, fake news, didn't happen, oh, it's all, you know, I, I have to wonder, do these people believe that nothing ever happens? Maybe, you know, they need to believe that to feel safe about what is taking place. I don't know. But this is not fake news. So this is the video that shows the collapse as it took place. And, yeah, suspicious? I'd say so. This is not just, oh, flimsy uh, engineering. I love how these buildings collapse right into their footprint. So, I didn't realize how much of that building came down. But this, well, once again, it looks like a controlled demolition falling right into its footprint. 
Okay, so that leads me to believe that it was a directed energy weapons attack. I have a directed energy weapons playlist on my channel and I posted videos. A PDF on directed energy weapons proves melting, vaporization, uh, damage to scale, directed energy weapons. And this video goes over a lot of what our military has, but think about what we don't know our military has. So, you know, I think a lot of people will just roll their eyes, call you a conspiracy theorist, if you claim that this building came down uh, via some kind of directed energy weapons, even when they are seeing it fall right into its footprint, they won't believe it because they just, it's the cognitive dissonance, uh, and they, to think that this is an attack probably would render an awful lot of people frightened. So fear blocks the truth from a lot of people. So you might want to check out these videos. I have, what, 79? All the fabulous ways in which they can start fires, fires in Australia, the fires in California. Yeah, all right. And how they can mind control people, how they can use directed energy weapons for weather modification, artificial uh, earthquake technology. <sighs> this is our world today. So, yeah, there was an explosion. Our mil military set off quite the explosion, 100 miles off the coast of Florida. Brutally, U.S. Navy detonates huge 40,000 pounds bomb triggering earthquake in the Atlantic Ocean. The U.S. Navy triggered an explosion near its new aircraft carrier, USS Gerald R. Ford, off the U.S. East Coast on Friday during shock trials, and the big blast registered as a 3.9 magnitude earthquake, USNI News reported, citing U.S. Geological Survey data. The U.S. government agency recorded the activity as an experimental explosion, about 100 miles off the coast of Florida, So, how much marine life did they kill? Hmm? How much marine life? <laughs> There's a whole lot of life I'm not too pleased with. Dolphins. Well, the list is endless. They had to set off this 40,000 pound bomb which triggered an earthquake which could trigger a tsunami to see how their battleships could withstand the shock. Do I think that that has something to do with this collapse? No, I don't. I don't. I do think that this was a directed energy weapons attack. You know, it, also, let's just look at this slow motion. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay.
Are we seeing light flashes? Yes, we are. Yes. So, this was a targeted attack, and that you won't hear from mainstream media. It almost looks as if you have a weapon and they are literally holding that weapon with maybe some kind of laser light or whatever. At first I thought maybe it was a light on that terrace, but it's not. They're, they're, well, Okay, um, you have to wonder what this, what are these lights about? Is it a flash from a laser? I don't know. You know, they have all different types of lasers, but um, people have died. No doubt children have died. And initially I thought it was uh, just the side of just a portion of the building, but it's a bigger portion actually. You know, and it looks like a lot of the damage it just folded into itself, which is uh, characteristic of directed energy weapons. Look at the size. This is the um, this is the building. This whole portion taken out and it must have been a beautiful place to live because it was right on the ocean so yeah anyway um Seriously, if you don't know anything about directed energy weapons, I, I really do suggest you do some research because we are under attack and, oh, it's fire season. So Colorado already had a, a wildfire with evacuations, um, Arizona and What's going to happen with California? Don't know. There were also fires. No, I'm sorry. This is not fake news, okay? It's not fake news. And when I think of all of the people who are suffering the consequences of this kind of evil that is taking place, that's when I get upset reading those comments because it's such a slap in the face to them. Yeah. 
Yep. Detonate those bombs. And I'm sure the military made sure that there was no marine life around. Right? Right. All right. Well, if you want to check out the live broadcasts, you can click on this link. Zero Hedge has live coverage videos. Whole portion. That's a lot of people. 2 a.m., a whole lot of people sleeping. It was the, 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 the number of condos, 136, half, half of those condos. Literally, well, once again, brought to dust, folded into the levels, folded into, into the footprint. All right. I got some comments underneath my video that I posted yesterday with DeSantis, you know, his press conference with the bills that he was signing for the um, public schools, private schools, colleges, universities, their curriculum to bring in teaching about communism, the evils of communism, and yada, yada, yada. Oh, well, I was left these comments that spoke of another bill that he just recently signed, SB 2006, Emergency Man Management, and, oh, it's a long bill, Emergency Management Bill, but if you scroll on down to the near end, we don't have very good provisions in here. And did my highlighting come off? Man, oh man, it did. Hang on. Okay, so a public health emergency bill ordering an individual to be examined, tested, vaccinated, treated, isolated, or quarantined for communicable diseases that have significant morbidity or mortality and present a severe danger to public health individuals who are unable or unwilling to be examined, tested, vaccinated, or treated for reasons of health, religion, or conscience may be subjected to isolation or quarantine if the individual poses a danger to the public health, the state health officer may subject the individual to isolation or quarantine. If there is no practical method to isolate or quarantine the individual, the state health officer may use any means necessary to vaccinate or treat the individual. Okay. When COVID um, broke out, I read a number of emergency bills in not just our country, but Australia, UK. This is standard. Now, I'm not, I'm, I'm not defending DeSantis. You know, the bills that he signed yesterday were good. Does that mean that he's, you know, not part of the play? I don't know. I don't know. But I will say that this is standard for every public health emergency bill. Um, now, considering all of the hype around the pandemic, what DeSantis did in Florida, you know, he, the emergency bill that he signs now these provisions were in the last emergency bill. So he could have, you know, enacted these provisions. He didn't. But does that mean that I know DeSantis and I'm going to say that he is just such a fabulous guy and he's never going to, you know, turn on people? I don't know. I don't And frankly, I trust no one. No one now. No one. Great, huh? So, I look at what they do, you know, rather in a 
isolated way, though you've got to put all of it together, all of those isolated um, actions that they take and put them all together and then, you know, then you get to really just speculate. You can come up with your own conclusion, uh, but this is a world where you always have to step back from your own conclusion and recognize that you're just putting together, you know, the knowledge uh, that you found out, but there's an awful lot of knowledge that you don't know, and so who the hell knows? But no. Do I like these provisions? No. Okay, but then think of Ebola, right? Okay. What you going to do if you were the governor? What are you going to do? Ebola is just uh, ravaging, you know, your state. What are you going to do? So I'm not saying that um, that I know, you know, the intent of any of these provisions in these bills. And I'm not even saying, you know, that I'm not saying anything. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know much anymore. And that's pretty, well, tiring. We live in the country of the lie. So, you know, how can you trust anyone? How can you trust me? How can you trust, how can you trust yourself if you haven't done the work necessary to know who you are? How can you trust yourself if you haven't done the work necessary to know who you are? And that takes an awful lot of time doing that work. So while you can think about how you might handle a situation, until you get into that situation, you won't know. You won't know if you don't have a firm grasp on who you are as a human being. The links are below.